this story started with the NG Connect ideation session here in the Chorus Innovation Lab in Newmarket, Auckland. What we did was we came together as a group of companies uh, with a shared excitement and for what is a smart city. We started to look at a few different options and the one that really came out of it was how do we take uh, the bus shelter and turn it into a connected smart shelter. As we've been rolling out smart cities around the world and there are great examples of that, one of them is Chorus in New Zealand is rolling fibre out to the nation. But what's really the question is what is the good business model around it? So following the NG Connect session we spent a fair bit of time staring at white boards and trying to work out how do we bring this to life and what is it that we need. We thought, well, the best way to do this is actually to work as a collaborative team. And with a fantastic opportunity to use the Chorus Innovation Lab, we decided to actually build a full-size bus shelter here in the lab. So the consortium that came together to develop the trial bus shelter was Downer, and our role in that is the lead systems integrator and project management element to the consortium. There was Alcatel Lucent, who provide the technology networking, um, Samsung, the screens, Salter, uh, the uh, user interface and design side of the consortium, uh, Schneider Electric from the um, distribution and smart metering, and uh, design brand, which uh, the designer and uh, builder of the actual bus shelters. As industrial designers, we need to pull together all the different disciplines that provide components or knowledge to the finished product, and that involves manufacturing, engineering, ergonomics, aesthetic guardianship to make it function waterproof and safe for the user. So on top of the, the bus shelter is a lot of the technology that's hidden away. So from an Alcatel Lucent point of view, we bring together the fibre, the power, and all of that comes together in terms of the services that are provided out to users. What that really means is mobile coverage and mobility services are increased locally and across the city, which is really important in terms of the user experience and, and the services that they're using from a, a smart city perspective. So while we were working here in the Chorus Lab, an opportunity came out to actually put one of these smart shelters out in the live environment here in Auckland City. So the key features of the prototype is the screen. Obviously, it's the opportunity for people to see something very interactive. It's a touch screen. It's based on a tile interface. So there's elements which is journey planning, advertising, weather, there's a game, and it's something that uh, is quite an innovative way of, uh, of getting in touch with the public transport user. It's great to have seen a lot of the stuff that was from a whiteboard in an ideation session move right through to the forming of a consortium and delivering a real um, bus shelter out into the um, public area. You take a bus shelter that at the moment is a cost to the city and that becomes a revenue generating strain. As you increase the number of small sales and the services provided out to users, it's just fantastic. A lot of people can think about the technology that's going to go into the bus shelter, but this is one of the few and one of the first projects that I think really looks at the business model behind multiple technologies going into an ultra broadband bus shelter. Aesthetically, it looks cool, it looks great, and we want visitors and people within the city to have a really great experience while they're here. So the opportunity to engage with information, the opportunity to see what's going on in the city, I guess brings the city to life and enables people to be much more informed. What we're really trying to accomplish is making cities more livable. And if technology can enable that, that's an awesome thing. Everybody's very motivated about what's next and, and how do we form a commercial entity to take this forward and, and deliver smart infrastructure to uh, cities of the future.